Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to show how to create a VDisk or a virtual disk in PVS environment. So in provisioning services environment, when the target devices are booting up, it needs to boot the VDisk or the virtual disk from the provisioning server or from the network file share. So this VDisk is a basically a image. It contains the operating system along with the applications. So in order to stream this VDisk, first of all, we need to create a VDisk. So I'm going to do that in this particular video. So this is my master target device. And in my master target device, I'm going to the Windows search and type imaging. So you see this tool called imaging wizard. You have to click on it. So uh, before you see this uh, imaging wizard, you need to install target device software, which I have shown in the previous video. So after installing target device software, you would be uh, seeing this uh, particular option. So open imaging wizard and click next. Okay, now it is asking the name of the PVS server. So I'm going to type PVS. Okay, so before you move next, you have to make sure that you are using the right port number here. If you use a different port number, you will not be able to move to the next option. So make sure the port is 54321. In some environments, maybe you are using any customized port, you have to mention the right port number here. So I'm going to click next here. It is going to take a few seconds. Okay, now it, it gives a couple of options. So what task do you want to perform? Create a VDisk, make a provisioning services VDisk from the device's boot hard disk, and the other one is create an image file. So I'm going to create a VDisk. So I'm going to click next. Okay, it is asking the name of the uh, VDisk. So I'm going to type uh, Windows uh, Server. Okay, I'm going to type Windows uh, 2K12. All right, so this is the VDisk name and I'm going to click Next. And I'm going to click Next. Okay, it says choose what to image. I'm going to select image entire boot disk. I'm going to click Next. And uh, okay, so it is asking whether you would like to optimize the settings in the real time in the production environment if you want to optimize for the better performance. You can optimize the settings here. You can disable if you want. So this is the lab environment. So I'm going to select do not optimize the hard disk. I will optimize the VDisk after it's created. So I'm going to click next. Okay, so it is going to start the process. So before that, you can just cross check the details here. So this is the name of the PVS server. This is the port number. And this is the VDisk name. And this is the store where you need to uh, save this particular VDisk. And this is the format. So if everything looks good, you can go ahead and click create. Okay, it says it is successful. I'm going to click continue and see how it goes. Okay, it says, do you want the device to reboot? If not, the device will be shut down before reboot or after shutdown, configure the machine settings for network boot. I'm going to click yes. I think it's going to reboot now. Okay, it says, uh, do you want to continue restarting? Okay, I'm going to click yes. Okay, so the device is going to restart. All right, it's getting restarted. So I'm going to give the ping command and wait for it to come back. Okay, it's coming back if you see the screen. I think this is the right IP address. So it's booting up if you see in the background.
Okay, it's back. So I'm going to just take RDP to the machine and see how it goes. Okay, I'm connecting to the machine. Okay, if you see on the screen here, the uh, imaging process has started. It is uh, creating the image. So this is going to take a while, so please bear with me. So it says processing. Imaging is likely to take a long time. Connect to site server PVS 54321 and uh, so this is the location where it is uh, saving the virtual disk. So this might take a couple of uh, minutes so please bear with me. Okay, so this process might take a lot of time, so I'm going to pause this video and I'm going to come back later. Thank you. All right, everyone. I think we almost reached the end of the process of creating the VDisk. It's almost there. Maybe it will take another one minute. Yeah, it's almost done. Let's wait. So once this uh, VDisk is created, we can check the uh, virtual disk in the provisioning server. I will show that to you where exactly the VDisk is located. This process took more than 30 minutes. So I was just waiting for this to complete. All right, so if you see the status here, it says uh, successful, the progress is finished. So I'm going to, if you want, you can check the log. See, this is how the log looks. So yeah, if you want to go through the details, you can just uh, go through the details, just for information. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to close it and I'm going to click done. So it's done. So the VDisk has been created successfully on the provisioning server. So I'm going to connect to the provisioning server. So this is the provisioning server. Now let's check whether the VDisk is uh, located or not. Okay, just give me a second. Okay, so let me, okay. So my, uh, I have saved the VDisk in this uh, particular location called store in C drive. So I'll click on store. Okay, if you see here, if you see here, this is the VDisk. So it says Windows 2K12, it was created on, it was started at 1047. 
So this, this is the VDisk and this is the log file allocate and this is the PVP file. So the VDisk has been created successfully. So what happens is now when the uh, target devices boot up in the provisioning services environment, this particular VDisk will stream over the network to these target devices and this target devices would get the operating system along with the application. So you don't need to uh, you don't need to have any hard disk on this target devices basically because it's going to stream the uh, VDisk from the provisioning server and it is going to use it without any issues. So this is going to save a lot of money for the organizations because you don't need to have a lot of storage for each and every machine. So it is just uh, stored in one particular location on the provisioning server and it is it is going to use this uh, VDisk or the uh, virtual disk uh, for booting up the operating system and use the applications. So this saves a lot of time and this saves a lot of uh, money for the clients and uh, uh, even for the administrators, you know, uh, you can, uh, if you want to do any modifications, then you can simply update the uh, virtual disk. Like if you want to install the applications or if you want to uninstall the applications or if you want to do the Windows updates or any changes that you made in the VDisk, uh, after making the changes, you can uh, move this to the production mode. Once you move this to the production mode from the maintenance mode, uh, all you need to do is you need to just uh, restart the target devices. It could be 100 or 200. You can just restart the target devices. Once these target devices restart, it would uh, take the new virtual disk and it would boot successfully without any issues with all the latest updates. Okay. Uh, so yeah, this is how the uh, uh, VDisk works in the uh, provisioning services environment. And uh, yes, uh, I hope you find this uh, information helpful. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment. Thank you very much.